right, good morning. Today I'm standing here with our Major John Wayne Troxell, the Senior Enlisted Advisor to the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff. Sorry, Major, thank you so much for being here today. Oh, my honor. It's been a pleasure to be here. Now, the SEAC just went ahead and gave some great words of wisdom to our future Sergeant Major in Class 70. Sergeant Major, you are such an inspirational speaker. And in listening to you speak to our soldiers and talk about leadership, is that an innate ability of yours? Or did you have to learn how to motivate your soldiers? I think, uh, you know, I'm loud and boisterous to begin with, but I, I think it's a, a learned trait over years. I just know that when I was growing up in the ranks in the early 80s, that the, the resounding leaders that, had, that were charismatic on how they spoke and everything, they, they were the ones that really um, motivated me and said, I want to be like that guy. And so um, I, at a certain point I said, you know, I need to be that kind of leader myself. So it helps with sets and repetitions that I, I do it a lot and it helps, but I think it's important for a senior enlisted leader to deliver a message to an audience that is based on passion and caring and motivation and provides purpose and direction and focus. So uh, it's, it's really been a learned trait, but uh, being loud and boisterous helps. But I, I just hope that I'm remembered as somebody that could be, that was approachable and that was always uh, eager to listen to others that may have challenges and offer my best advice and best help. That's what I hope, uh, more so than being remembered as the SEAC or, or being remembered as a guy that was a Sergeant Major for 20 years or served for almost 38 years in the institution. I just hope, you know, uh, that people remind me of somebody that would listen and, and was willing to help. But again, that's, we don't choose our legacy. That's for others to decide, but that's what I would do. I like it, Sergeant Major. Now, in lieu of your retirement, what imparting words of wisdom do you have on our senior enlisted leaders of the course today? To continue to be a leader of consequence, to be a leader of example, that more so what they do than what they say will have the impact on the men and women that they're in charge of. And that means they've got to provide that purpose, that motivation, that direction, that discipline to the force. And the best way to do that is through their example. So they have to lead by example in everything that they do, regardless of how old they get. That's my message to them, is to continue to be that leader that leads through their example. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day. Thank you. Thank you so All right. Yes, ma'am. Awesome. Thank you. Okay.